Good morning, folks. Ecuador, Tungura Hua Volcano. Beautiful eruption. The top story, folks. Most of you were very sick of my waiting to kickstart the quake watch back up, waiting for the umbral fields to stop blocking the coronal hole and for the moon to conjoin half the solar system. Yesterday, we finally called that the opening was geoeffective and that watch was on. You're looking at L waves ripped across the globe from the first major earthquake since part one of this very watch period. A large six magnitude quake registered near Papua New Guinea with readings ranging from 6.4 to 6.7. We have three buoys showing event mode in the last 24 hours. Up north near Alaska again, this time a believable deviation of 1.5 meters. Not long after that and around the time of the significant quake, this buoy showed a very minor event. Same goes for the Indonesian buoy this morning. Also worth noting that this is way more little quakes than we expect in the United States for one day. I recorded this last night. Powerful low of Triton sat about half a state west of Chicago, while the southern portion was upstaging the northern snowstorm with wild wind, power outages, hailstorms. This absurd temperature differential between the leading and trailing edges of these storms is the new normal, folks. Welcome to the future of weather. You will remember that Egypt, Israel, and the surrounding areas had a locust swarm last week. As of today, you can make that two locust swarms. Final article is about just how much debris is left from the Japan tsunami and just how dangerous it is. Coming to space weather, this is Comet Panstars, visible in stereo BHI-1 and in the sunset skies across the planet. Nice time lapse. Our sunspots have my full attention. While we have yet to see anything major and flaring since they crested, that central portion has a magnetic inlet at the south where another spot has formed. This is completely overlooked in NOAA's current sunspot classification and is only one slight morph away from going delta and setting off that huge umbra above it. Solar activity may pick up soon. The quake watch continues, but hopefully we're done for now. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.